Okay, so Anthropic has just dropped Claude Haiku 4.5. And guess what? The price has gone up yet again, but that may not be a bad thing. So in this video, I'm going to look at the latest release from Anthropic, the Claude Haiku 4.5 model. We're going to talk about not only the pricing of this model, but about how this model is becoming a stand-in replacement for Sonnet 4, which literally just came out and was the state of the art a few months ago. We'll also talk about how small can beat big for agents, and specifically how Haiku 4.5 really could become one of the default models for building agents. So let's jump in. So first off, the sort of bad part of it, the pricing. The model's gone up in price. It's now a dollar for a million input tokens and $5 for a million output tokens. If we compare that to the previous Haiku models, Haiku 3.5 was only $4 per million out and Haiku 3 was only $1.25 per million out. When Haiku 3 came out, this was one of my favorite models because it was just so cheap, so fast, you could get a lot of things done with it. So based on pricing alone, you'd be tempted to say that this is not an interesting model, but actually this is very much an interesting model. And I kind of wonder whether this model maybe even deserved its own name rather than just Haiku. But I guess this is where Anthropic is going to say our smallest model, our fastest model is always going to be the Haiku model. And it's amazing to look at some of the stats in relation to this and has also got to have us anticipating the Opus 4.5 when it comes out as being a total beast of a model. So jumping into the release itself, you'll see that they talk about that Claude Haiku even surpasses Claude Sonnet 4 at certain tasks. Now they give the whole example of using the Claude for Chrome app, which I still don't think is very widely available, but let's look at some of the benchmarks that they give for Haiku 4.5. So we can see that not only are they comparing this, notice the first thing, we don't even see a comparison to Gemini Flash or Gemini Flash Lite, which is really what they should be comparing to and to GPT-5 Mini, etc. But none of those comparisons here, we see these comparisons not only to the big models from other providers, but even to their previous Sonnet 4 model, you can see that this is actually outperforming Sonnet 4 on Sri Bench, on a number of the different agent benchmarks, as well as things like computer use, and is honestly not that far behind on the benchmarks for reasoning. It does seem that Haiku is probably not the model that you're going to use if you want the best reasoning. But what Anthropic seems to be saying is that you use the big Sonnet 4.5, perhaps even the Opus 4.5 when it comes, for doing your reasoning tasks. And you can use this Haiku 4.5 model as your sort of grunt model to just get a lot of work done in a very speedy way. So overall, looking at the benchmarks, this is pretty amazing that this model is able to beat GPT-5, able to beat Gemini 2.5 Pro, able to be able to do agentic and coding tasks probably a lot better than a lot of the models that are out there. But not only that, it seems to be able to do it at twice the speed of Sonnet 4. So this really shows that not only is Anthropic working out how to basically make the models better on a intelligence level, on a sort of ability to do tasks level, but also at a speed level. And this is becoming more important when people are using things like Claude Code, when they're doing, you know, building various agents, et cetera, is that people really need to have models that are just faster than what's out there. Now, Anthropic does say that Claude Sonnet is still their frontier model and the best coding model in the world. But you've got to wonder with this speed up of being two times faster and with the intelligence getting roughly on par with Sonnet 4, does the fact that it actually got more expensive compared to the old Haiku really matter? This is now one third the cost of what Sonnet 4.5 is going to cost you to use. So again, going back to that scenario where this is going to be your grunt model that gets a lot of work done, that gets things delegated to it by smarter models that are going to do perhaps the planning, this will be the kind of model that you use to carry out those plans and to make use of all the function calling and agentic things that have been built into the Sonnet models leading up to this. So let's jump into the code and actually do some comparisons between Sonnet 4, Haiku 4.5 and Sonnet 4.5 for speed, for intelligence and for the responses it gives back. 
All right, so coming in to actually run the models, I, I'm running them through the GCP. You may get different results on Bedrock and from Anthropic's own infra. From what I understand, these are versions of the model that run on TPUs, so they're optimized for that. So you may see slightly different results, but basically what I wanted to try here was doing a time to first token and then running through a bunch of these models and just seeing you know, how long does it take to basically produce out something. So you can see here, if we come in and give it a simple prompt, the Claude Haiku is chugging along super fast. We'd have got our response back in 3.6 seconds. It's just under half a second time to first token. And I think this really does show us like how fast this actually is. If we go back to Sonnet 4.5, you can see time to first token is a lot longer, more than double. And actual for the full response is also longer as well. If we compare to Sonnet 4, we can see that time to first token gets even longer, although the response time seems to be a bit smaller. That could be due to the number of tokens we're getting back there. Then if we start comparing Haiku to the older versions of Haiku, we can see that Comparing to 3.5 Haiku, which was the version before this, we do have actually quite a nice bump in performance or speed by the looks of this. We can see time to first token for that was about 0.7 seconds. But if we go all the way back to Claude 3 Haiku, which I still think in many ways was a very legendary model, we can see that this is probably a smaller model. We've got the time to first token being roughly the same as the 4.5 haiku, but the total time for generating out seems to be faster here. So overall, it does seem that Claude Haiku has this really nice balance of a lot more intelligence, but also actually faster times than Claude Haiku 3.5, and certainly a lot faster than the Sonnet models. So you got to think, like I've mentioned a couple of times in the video already, this is going to be a really good grunt work model that you just throw a lot of things at it, whether that's for agents, whether that's for structured output, classification tasks, all these kind of things you can imagine doing really well with this kind of model. So I'm gonna be doing some follow-ups around some agentic frameworks. And so I will certainly try out the Claude Haiku model in there and probably put that in a video coming soon. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye for now.